<clears throat> Welcome everyone to the Love Camp Barn. Here we are with Carol, our real live unicorn wrangler, which is so great. And Carol has been a part of camp for the last five years mm -hmm. and has used these skills in her own relationship. So today we're going to go on a unicorn ride. We're going to learn about how to take care of our unicorn. We're going to learn how to pick our unicorn and then get on the trail to explore different ways that we can overcome obstacles along the path to love as we go on this ride. So I'm just going to hand it over to you. Okay. You can let us know what we need to do. Sure. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm super excited to have you at the Unicorn Barn and to go on this ride with us. So to start out with, um, I guess the, the first thing to remember is this is your ride. This is your fantasy. So first of all, you're going to pick out your unicorn. You know, again, your fantasy. Big, tall, short, muscular, lean, whatever color you want. Doesn't have to be the traditional white unicorn. You know, this is this is your thing. You can let it be whatever you want. So, you know, kind of get in your mind what it is you want your unicorn to look like and walk around all the unicorns and pick you out one and then find you a good place to stand. And we wanna start out with, um, I've got an assortment of brushes and curry combs and you know hair brushes. So we wanna start just uh, get knock some of the dirt off of them a little bit, brush them a little bit. Uh, always go with the grain of the hair when you're brushing. Uh, it's good to keep one hand on your unicorn while you're brushing in case they move away or get spooked. But just brush a little bit uh, their manes. You know, you want their manes to look nice and pretty. You want the tail to be nice and pretty. And, you know, if there's anything stuck in the tail, get that out. Get them all nice and looking pretty flashy for your ride. You know, I mean, we all want a nice looking unicorn, right? Mm, do they like this? They love it. They love it. Most of them really like it. It's very relaxing. And it helps you bond with them a little bit. Mm. Um, gets them a little used to you, gets you kind of used to them and, and how they're going to react to, to your movements and what you're doing. And then while you're doing that, I also want you to think about the next thing we need to do is to get them saddled. If you're going to ride in the saddle, you don't have to. Um, you can choose a Western saddle. You can choose an English saddle, whatever kind of saddle you'd like. Maybe you want to go bareback. Totally up to you. Again, this is your ride. You can pick whatever you want. Um, if you decide to use a saddle, like for me, I think I'll ride in a Western saddle today and um, I'm going to pick out a, a nice pretty saddle pad to go under the saddle. You're going to, after you got your unicorn all nice and brushed, put the saddle pad on and I'm going to pick one that kind of matches my outfit just because I want to be matchy matchy today. I'm going to pick one that's kind of red and black um, for my saddle pad and then I'll stick the saddle on on top of that. And then we've got get everything and I can help if you need any help just raise your hand I'll come around and help you get your saddles girthed up again you don't have to ride a saddle your fantasy if you want to ride bareback today go for it if you want an English saddle or Australian saddle whatever you'd like it's, it's totally your your fantasy today other thing to think about is what are you wearing you know you've got you know what your unicorn looks like what are you wearing I have on my little uh, retro western shirt with the little flowers and my fancy little hat to match. So, um, you know, do you want to wear something like that? Do you want to dress up in some sort of English attire? Do you want just, you know, up to you, totally whatever you want. Something long and floaty and flowy, doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever suits you, so. Well, it doesn't help. I mean, I always wear my unicorn hat. Absolutely. Um, because yeah, it's just fun, like I can yeah. see better, yeah. I like wearing a hat because that way if you duck under branches or something, you're not getting cedar trees and branches in you. Uh, a lot of people write it with helmets. And, you know, if you're concerned a little about safety, you want to be sure you don't get hurt. You might want a helmet. Um, ball cap keeps the gunk from falling in your hair or, you know, again, fantasy, you know, go with that. So whatever you'd like to do, this is, this is all for you, whatever y'all want to do. 
All right. So has everybody got your unicorns already saddled up, boots on, ready to jump in the saddle and go? All right. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and hop in the saddle and uh, leave the barn area here. And we'll just walk nice and slow, kind of get yourself situated, figure out how you want to hold your reins. And we're just going to walk nice and slow down this little gravel road. As we're walking along here, if you'll look kind of out over here to this side, there's a pasture over there and there's a couple of donkeys out there. Oh. They may run over to the fence and start graying at you. So just kind of be prepared. Unicorns should be used to that. But if not, they may spook a little bit. Just relax into it. Don't get scared. Um, there's also a real cute little pony over there. If you see her hiding behind the trees a little yeah. bit, you want to take a look at her. Say hi to her as you walk past. Wow, that's close to the fairy colony, and those little feisty ones are they tricky. Yeah, yeah gotta be aware. Never know what you're gonna find as we're walking around the trail. So let's go down this little gravel road here, and uh, pretty soon we'll get down here to this little spot in the woods where the trail kind of takes off into the woods. And so we're going to just hop off here and, and go into the woods and uh, start riding through the woods. Oh, duck, there's a big limb there. Oh, duck, as you're going oh, under wow. there, we don't want anybody to fall off their unicorn. So just be careful. So we're just going to walk along here nice and easy. A um, couple things just while you're riding your unicorn, things that are going to make your ride more pleasant for you is just to remember to be present. Uh, to be centered and to think about this relationship that mm. you have with your unicorn here. And that just makes it a little more pleasant for everybody. All right. So we'll walk along a little ways here. Uh, you know, it's winter time. Trees aren't so pretty right now, but there's a few, you know, cedar trees around. There's some, uh, some big, tall hardwood trees to look at as we go along. Oh, I hear some. Do need to do anything? Do I need to, like, if I wanted to stop my unicorn, could I? Or do yeah, I just if you want to stop your unicorn, you can just kind of very gently pull back on your reins okay. and tell them whoa or ho. Some whoa. people use either one and just make okay. sure you're sitting down really good in your saddle or on the, the unicorn's back. Yeah, if you want to stop and maybe you want to take a picture, maybe you see a pretty bird up yeah. there you want to take a picture of. You know, your unicorn will stand to be real sweet while you're trying to take a picture. So, yeah. And then when you get ready to go again, if you'll just kind of squeeze your legs a little bit, tell them to walk. If not, walk. maybe give them a little tap with your heel there, just a slight little kick if they don't respond very well. They should, but, you know, they are unicorns. You never know how they're going to react. All right. So we kind of up here, there's a choice now. We've kind of at a dead end here. We can either go right or we can go left on the trail. Um, doesn't matter. I'd say let's go left today. You know, and, and like Macy, like you always tell us, you know, you can choose, choose again and choose yeah. again. So if that doesn't work for you, we don't like that trail. We can choose again and try a different trail. But for now, we'll try this one and see how it goes. Okay. So let's walk along here. Um, another thing I just kind of wanted to bring up is that um, our unicorns are going to make really good use of their body language to each other to convey messages. Like if one unicorn gets a little too close to the other one, they may pin their ears. They may swish their tail. They may pick up a back foot. And so just kind of be aware of that. But that's also... We do the same thing with our body language. Um, and sometimes our body language is saying one thing and our mouth is saying something different. And right. your corn is going to know that. They're going to be able to pick up on that. So that's why I said when we, when we start out to be present, to be centered, to think about that relationship, you kind of just want to make sure you got that going right there. But they're I love that, that, Carol. And they they can kind of tell what, what you're going what you're thinking about and tell when you're really not in alignment with what you're thinking and what you're doing. So they're, they're pretty sharp creatures. They can, they can. And then what do you, do what do you notice? Do they just start like resisting or. They may, they may just do that or they may just, yeah, they may just flat out just stop and say, yeah, okay. no, not today. We're not doing this. And not until you 
get yourself together here. We're not doing it. So just, yeah, just be aware that that could be, a, that could happen. Uh, hopefully we're all you know, doing what we're supposed to be doing and we're nice and centered and grounded and calm and that'll be good. All right, so let's go along this little trail here. And if you look over there, look really hard, I see a deer. It looks like it's a big buck. I can't tell. Maybe a 10-pointer? I don't know. He looks huge. Oh, wow. Look at him. Just, die. you know, your, your unicorns shouldn't be afraid of the deer. They okay. see them all the time. But just take a look at that as you go by. He's he's really cool. I, oh, I like the way wow. he, he's very majestic looking at I like that That's what I love about these rides with you. It's like I never know what I'm gonna see. You don't. It's just like mm -hmm. it's fun just taking the trip and it is. yeah. Yeah, I'd say we'll just kind of you know go with the flow and see what happens. Oh, speak of go with the flow, I see we're coming up on a pond. Mm -hmm. So let's oh, walk boy. up here. Well, first thing we may want to do is let your unicorn, you know, we've been on the trail for a little bit. They may be thirsty, they may want to drink. Okay. Oh boy. So walk over to the edge of the pond and what you want to do is kind of loosen up your hands on the rain oh, so okay. they can reach down and, and get a drink if they want. One thing to be aware of though, if they get their feet in the water and they start pawing at the water, make them stop because usually the next thing they want to do after they paw is lay down in the water. Oh, you don't want anybody laying down in the water with their unicorn squishing them in the water. So just be aware of that. But let them get their little drink. And then we kind of got to look around here. I'm not sure. There's a couple of ways we can get oh. across here to get to the other side of the trail. One thing is you can just kind of go down just a little bit into the pond and go kind of around the edges of it uh, where the water's shallow. Or the other option, the pond is pretty deep out in the middle. You can take your unicorn and swim across with your unicorn. Wow. Now, this okay. may be a little scary. Now, this is where I would have thought the ride was over. Like, I would have thought, this is game over. I'm not going in the water. You can't go around this. But you can. You can. You absolutely can. Just got to decide how. So, you know, if you're afraid, maybe you're afraid to swim. Maybe you're afraid your unicorn can't swim. Um, you know, so it, you may be just so afraid that you just say, that's it, I'm done. You know, and mm -hmm. turn around and go back to the barn, which I hope you don't do that. But um, that may be, that's one way to approach it. Right. Another way, you know, just step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. So it's scary. You know, I, mm -hmm. I can't remember who it is. To, there's a quote that's, uh, do it scared. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who has somebody yeah, somewhere. I can't remember who said it, but yeah. So if you want, do it scared. Um, uh -huh. Or you may look at this and go, woohoo, this is fun. I can't wait. This sounds exciting. Uh, first thing we want to do, if you decide you want to try to swim. Now remember, I do. This, we're, we're magic. You know, unicorns are magic. So we just kind of snap your fingers, abracadabra, whatever you want to do to magically Get rid of the saddle so that your barebacks, we don't get the saddles all wet and sloppy and then have to clean them and mm -hmm. all that mess. So, oh, wow. It's gone. All right. Okay. So okay. if you're bareback, then we're just going to ease on over into that little deeper water. Okay. And your unicorn will know. Oh, oh wow. Feet don't hit the bottom of the pond anymore and they're going to start swimming. Just kind of, again, go with the flow, let your unicorn lead the way, just kind of relax into it and enjoy it. It's pretty cool. That's so cool. But if you're afraid to do that, no big deal. You know, what is it you always say, Macy? Don't make, don't make yourself wrong. Don't make it be wrong for yeah. you. If you yeah. don't want it, so what? There's you some can campers around going the around the lake. I love that too. That's great. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can just walk with their feet, just very shallow. Um, in the pond and just kind of walk around the edges, but we'll eventually get over there to the other side of the trail and, uh, you know, hope everybody makes it safe and it enjoys it. But uh, yeah, I think it's a, a pretty cool thing. And that's, you know, this is one of those times also that you can kind of, it can tell you something about yourself. You know, what, what do you do when you come up against something that's a little out of your comfort zone? 
You know, do you freak out? Do you go into that fear or are you able to lose the fear? You know, every relationship. Yeah. I'm up against that kind of stuff all the time. So it's, it's yeah. a really good way to just kind of think about, hmm, how did I react there? What did I do? You know? Yeah. I mean, so, I, this, I wouldn't have thought about swimming, honestly. Like, this is yeah. what's so cool about it. And I appreciate that about you as the wrangler. It's like you you teach us things that I didn't even, I wouldn't have thought of on my own. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a little fun thing to do. So, all right. So I guess is everybody oh, okay. out of the pond and yes. made it safely. And so what'd you guys think? Was that, do you like that? That's, that was to me, so that's just a super fun thing to do. So it's something you don't get to do very often, but all right. So we'll just go back here with our magic abracadabra, whatever. We're back in the saddle and we're going to walk along a little bit. Um, trail here is pretty nice and flat so if you want to pick up the pace a little bit oh wow. we'll go into a trot um so that's just like a little you know a little faster and we can do that again you don't have to if, if that feels like fun for you and you want to try to trot go for Woo. it if you'd rather walk yeah if you're comfortable trotting a little bit we can push them up into the next thing which would be what in western riding we call a lope or English writing, they call it canter when you're kind of doing the like that, where they're they're really moving on out fast. If this is a nice, flat, safe area, so let's just go for it if you want to. If you don't, we'll stop and we'll wait and let y'all catch up with us again. You know, it's whatever you want to do. This is this is your fantasy ride. So whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. <clears throat> Hopefully, oh, we don't have any runaways. Fun. <laughs> if they get you running too back. fast, yeah, just kind of pull back on those reins a little bit, tap back and tell them easy, easy, easy. Or, whoa, when you get ready to whoa. stop. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You know, and that's, again, one of those things you kind of have to trust your unicorn a little bit. You kind of have to give up a little bit of that fear again, a little bit of that control um, and just go with flow on that one too. Just let it, you know, just be comfortable and kind of sink into that comfort. And I it. like that because it reminds me of the pace of a relationship because a lot of people are like, oh, it should be going faster or mm -hmm. should be like this or, hey, I, I'm feeling like this is too fast. And it's like, it sounds like with our unicorns, we can be really honor what pace works. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Again, no right and no wrong. You yeah. know, it's whatever is right for you, whatever, whatever it is you want is that's the way to go for that. All right. So let's just continue on down the trail here a little bit. Uh, we'll get down here just a little bit. If you'll look up usually in this area, I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. There's a hawk. If you'll look way up there in the top of the trees. This is kind of his little hangout. So he likes to kind of hang out and watch us when we walk by here. So that's just kind of cool. I like seeing I that, that. Over here. Uh, okay. So you're walking along nothing. If you're having any trouble, like, I don't know if you've noticed, you know, as we walk along, sometimes there's some logs on the ground. There's some rocks to walk over. Again, most of these unicorns are probably going to just go right on and do it. But if you have any trouble getting them to step over the logs or step over the rocks, you know, try something else. If, if that's not working, Try something else, you know, again, squeeze with your legs a little bit, give them a little bit of a kick, you know, okay. turn them off, go around, walk around it. Um, lots of things you can do, but just, you know, if it's not working, try something else again, that choose and choose again and just try something else. Yeah, this is great. I'm really feeling connected to my unicorn. Yeah, and that's what we want. You know, that's the, that's the whole idea is to develop that relationship start feeling more comfortable. They get to know you, you get to know them, just like any other kind of relationship. You know, same thing, same thing. All right, so we walk down here a little bit longer. This trail has a pretty steep hill here. So we're gonna kind of walk down the hill. And as you do oh, wow. that, kind of lean back a little mm -hmm. bit. Because if you lean forward, you may end up toppling over the front of them. So just kind of lean back a little bit. Again, trust your unicorn to pick their way through down the hill. They should do fine. We want to walk. We don't want anybody going too fast down this hill. 
I walk. Everybody doing okay? Oh, wow. So, yeah. Just, yeah, just kind of, you know, stay balanced, but just lean back just a little bit so you don't fall out of the saddle. <clears throat> All right. So, down at the bottom of the hill. It's walking along here. And, oh, no. Look up ahead in the trail. Oh. Look at that giant tree. Oh, my gosh. It must have, we had a really bad windstorm come through here. I guess it knocked oh, the tree down and Oh, me. Well, let's see. I don't know. This is one of those, another one of those obstacles that you have to look at it and think, huh, do I just give yeah, up? This is this. Bit. Now this, we can't get past this one. I mean, you know, got some options. I mean, okay. you know, if you're really brave, I mean, it's a giant sized tree, but if you really trust your unicorn, I mean, if you swam with your unicorn, you can fly with the unicorn, jump mm -hmm. over the tree. I don't know. It sounds a little scary, but you might want to try that. If not, okay. um, you know, we can look around the woods over there. Look both sides. Looks like over here, we might can walk around. You may have to break some tree limbs, you know, and we may even have to get off and move some other limbs to get around. Okay. You know, there are ways to get around. It doesn't mean the ride's over. We, You know, just because you come up to something doesn't mean you just got to turn around and go back, you know? Yeah. So I see your point. Like we could cut. There's a lot of different yeah. options. Like lots of options. If you give it some space, like mm -hmm. I immediately saw it as a wall. But yeah. But yeah. Cutting some branches, getting and, off your horse. I didn't think of that so we can move through the space. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, if it's a little scary to go on your unicorn, you can get off and lead them through. Sometimes that's a little mm -hmm. less scary. But, you know, this is another one of those times, Macy, that it's, you know, that that it's like life. You know, we come up against obstacles. It can tell you things about yourself. Do you give up? Do you look at it and go, oh, no, I can't do this. That I'm done. You know, right. do you like rush into it and say, oh, I'm going and just start jumping over, not knowing what's on the other side? You know, yeah. do you take time and look around and see what's out there. Do you try to go around it? So there's there's lots of things like this that, you know, if you just kind of pay attention to as you're riding, it can really tell you a lot about yourself and how you approach things and maybe give you some other ideas of how you might approach things if you're not always happy with what you have been doing. So like you can learn a lot about yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks like everybody got across that obstacle. Yeah, That's good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, we're about to wind down on our ride here. We'll just kind of go down this little path right here. Um, really, there's some really pretty rock formations over there. Mm -hmm. If you want to look up, I don't know if there's anybody, anything up there in the rocks and little creatures, little critters to see or not, but just kind of enjoy that as you go. And then we'll make our way back up to the barn. Wow. The unicorns just know exactly where to go. That's kind of they're, funny. They, they're, they like going back to the barn. <laughs> All right. So when we get up there, then go ahead and get off. And we got to, you know, take off the saddle and the bridle and the saddle pad. And then we want to brush them down a little bit. Even though it's not hot outside, they still may get a little sweaty. So just Ooh, take your sense. brush again and brush them. And that feels good. It kind of smooths the hair back down. They really like that a lot. Mm. That's, that's very comforting. And it just gives you a chance to get some hands-on time with your unicorn and you know, let them know how much you appreciated the ride. Mm -hmm. Thank you, unicorn. Oh, wow. I love it. All right. So, and then, you know, if you've got some treats here, got some just little like molasses treats or some oh. carrots or some apples, you know, you want to see if your unicorn wants a bite of that, they would probably appreciate that too. I have some marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows are good. I love that. Oh, wow. I always go for the pink unicorns. So, you know, we all have our favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was so great. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad. Like, I really love the, 
the sense that I feel like of being supported by unicorn too. That feels really good to like Absolutely. not have to do it all. Like, yeah, it's kind of like you can kind of just feel like you don't have to be totally in control. You can just sit back and enjoy uh -huh. and they can have your back for a change, you know, just like people can have your back. Your unicorn there can definitely have your back and yeah, you can just relax into it and enjoy and kind of forget, forget the world for a while. It's just kind of nice to have that little fun getaway. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love that we do this. I love that you're, you're in charge of the unicorn barn and I hope all of you who joined us for that ride, I'm wondering what you're discovering about that and what you have um, learned about yourself on this ride. Absolutely, yeah. There, I mean, there's no doubt that you will learn something about yourself. Yeah, I love you there's, said that. You know, there's, if that's just that's pretty much a given. You will learn something about yourself. Um, yeah, yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see hear people's experience oh, I too. I know. And more people will probably be heading down to the barn this week to see you. So um, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining us. See you later. Bye. Bye.